Welcome to this lesson on solving by factoring. So the first step when you solve by factoring is to move all terms to one side of the equation so that it equals zero. So right now we have that negative four on the right side. I wanna add that to the left side. And remember, you can only add it with a like term. So I can add it with that negative six. So negative six plus four, that's negative two equals zero. So when you're solving, your function has to be equal to zero first. So that's step one. Step two is we're going to factor. So this is a trinomial where a is greater than one, a is three. So I'm going to multiply a times c and put that number at the end. So three times negative two, that's negative six. All right, now I'm gonna factor this trinomial where a is one. So I just need the factors of six that we're gonna add or subtract to give me five. So let's see, the factors of six are one and six, two and three. Well, both of those could give me five. So let's see, I'm gonna try one and six, see if that can give me a positive five. And it can if I use negative one and positive six. Negative one plus six, that's five. Negative one times six, that's negative six. So that will work. Don't forget though, you can't just get rid of that A and not do anything with it. We need to use that three and we're gonna divide right here by three. So one and three, that won't divide evenly. So I'm gonna move the three up here. Six divided by three, that does divide evenly to two. Okay, so now we have it factored. Our last step is to set each factor equal to zero, and you can get rid of the parentheses when you do this, and solve. So plus one, plus one, divided by three, divided by three, so x is one third, minus two, minus two, x is negative two. So this quadratic function has two real solutions at one third and negative two. So if we graphed it, that's where it would cross the x-axis. Those are the x-intercepts or the zeros or the solutions. All right, let's try some more. So the next one, number one, this is a trinomial where a is one. So we don't have to multiply a times c. We can just factor. So let's see, I'm looking for factors of 16. That'll give me eight. So let's see, one and 16, two and eight, four and four, four and four will, positive four and positive four. All right, next I'm gonna set both of those equal to zero. And if you notice, those are exactly the same. So we don't need to solve both, we can just solve one. So this quadratic function has one real solution. You won't always get two. That means it crosses the x-axis or it touches the x-axis just at that one spot. All right, number two, this is a special case. This is difference of two squares. So remember you open two parentheses, x and x. The square root of 25 is a five plus minus. Set both of those equal to zero. And solve. So x equals negative five. X equals positive five. So that quadratic function has two real solutions at negative five and positive five. Okay, number three, let's see. This is not a trinomial. This is not the difference of two squares because x to the first power, remember, has to have even exponents, so that's not gonna work. However, always check for a GCF, a greatest common factor. Both of these terms have the common factor of x, so I can factor that out. Let's give myself some room to divide here. 
So I factored out the x. I'm going to divide both to see what's left. So 4 divided by 1 is 4. x squared divided by x. Remember you subtract the exponents, so that would be x to the first power or just x. And then x divided by x, that's 1. Okay, now I can set both of these factors equal to 0. So x equals 0. Well, look, that's solved for me. Done. And then 4x minus 1 equals 0. This one we do need to solve, so let's add 1 to both sides. Then divide both sides by 4. So x equals 1 fourth. All right, number four, this has four terms. So if you have four terms, there's a couple things you can do. You can combine these and make this a trinomial in factor, or you can try grouping. And grouping is usually a little bit easier than a trinomial where a is greater than one, and this would be because we have that five. So let's try to group. So remember with grouping, you take the GCF of the first two terms which would be 5x, and then we would have an x minus 3 left over. Remember, I'm just dividing by 5x for both terms. And then take the GCF of the second two, which would be 2x, no, not x, just 2. They don't both have an x. And let's see what we would have left. It should be the same thing as the first parentheses, and it is. And then remember, you write the common parentheses, and then you write the GCFs together. All right, so we're still not done. We have factored it completely, but we are solving here. So I'm not done until I set both factors equal to 0 and solve. So add 3, add 3 x equals 3 minus 2 minus 2 divide by 5 divide by 5 x equals negative 2 fifths so this one has two real solutions 3 and negative 2 fifths all right number five. First of all this one is not equal to 0 so I need to make sure it's equal to 0 first so I'm going to add this 1 to the other side. Don't try to combine it with that 5 or that 4. They are not like terms. So I'm just going to add it to the end. So now it's equal to 0. Now I can factor. So I'm going to multiply A by C. Alright, so that would be... Well, the only factors are 4 and 1 and 2 and 2. 2 and 2 is not going to give me 5, but 4 and 1 will. And then don't forget to go back and divide by that a. So let's see, this is going to reduce to x plus 1. 1 divided by 4 will not reduce or divide evenly, so I'm going to move that 4 here. And then I need to set both of these equal to 0. That's going to be x equals negative 1. Solve this. Divide by 4. So x equals negative 1 fourth. So those are my two solutions. All right, and then number 6, this is a trinomial where a is 1, so this should be pretty easy to factor. Now, I will say, not every quadratic function can be factored. All of these on this notes page are able to be factored, but you will always be able to factor, and we will go over different methods when you can't factor in future lessons. All right, so let's see. Factors of 24 that will add to give me 10. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Let's see, 4 plus 6, that's 10. Positive and positive. And then we need to set both of these equal to 0. So x equals negative 4. 
and x equals negative 6. Okay, you can go ahead and stop the video now and complete your practice.